have a visitor. Oh, look at the helicopter. This is taking a long time. Y'all, there's so much happening. This is real life. This is medicine. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Shay Michelle and we are back with another day in the life vlog. Today is the very first day of my last block of my first year of medical school. So this block is the reproduction block um, and it is going to be I guess exactly four weeks. Our test is on the fourth week and then we are done with this year. We have first summer of medical school, uh, medical school and last summer of life. Um, after that so we have all of June and July off and then we're back in August but back to what's going on today it's gonna be a good day we're starting new habits I've cleared out my whiteboards as you can see and luckily it's almost nine o'clock and this is one of the first first days of the block that we've ever not had class starting 8 a.m. we don't have class until 9 30 so i would definitely be there and my laptop does not want to turn off so we're just going to hop on and go through my schedule on my phone but at 9 30 i have introduction to the system and then at 10 o'clock i have physiology reproduction boot camp then 11 o'clock we have another physiology class female reproductive physiology then at one we have a required session and it's for our professionalism course today's topic is the art of saying no how to set boundaries and find your professional voice so i think that'll be quite an interesting conversation because i think it's hard to say no a lot of times especially when you're like a student and like finding your voice like i said it's only it's almost nine o'clock it's 8 51 to be exact but i'm about to make myself breakfast and then we're gonna head out to class and then we have all those courses I just said. I'll probably stick around, just make myself a little mini lunch that I can stay on campus for, then go to my required class, and then get on with the rest of the day. I'll talk about my new study habits after we go through lecture and everything. For this last block, I'm trying something new because it's the last time I get to try something before the semester is up. I'm trying to make sure that this in this block i'm the least stressed i've ever been when it comes to like studying and tests and everything like that just because i want to feel like i'm making progress with finding like a good schedule and stuff like that so on that note yeah let's let's go get breakfast and then start our day off brand mcgriddle for the win it's 2 30 and i just got home from class um, basically we talked about the professionalism we had a really cool for fear talk to us about kind of like balancing life and everything like that but on that note i decided to like hang out by the pool in my apartment building and i'm now going to figure out what my study schedule is going to be for this block in all honesty i think for this block i'm just going to be very lecture like i just want to go there because i think waste the same amount of time not going to lecture and then just watching everything at a later date and time then just like if I went to lecture and knocked it out and kept it going but what I'm gonna do is like after every single lecture I plan on undoing or unsuspending the Anki cards so then I can look at my Anki cards and then just like go from there so it's like I learn in class and then as soon as I'm done with that I'm just gonna go straight to my flashcards and practice those I'm just gonna spend this next chunk of time going through my Anki cards and I did not forget about the notes but we're done for class with the day for the day i just have my little club meeting and then we're gonna go from there i just finished my aki card and i'm not gonna lie this was my first time doing this like going to class and then coming back to the aki cards don't get me wrong though like 100 percent, i usually just go to class and i'll like review my notes or something but this was the first time i was like let me unsuspend these aki cards and do them and i liked it i think this is a habit I'm going to try to keep up for the rest of the semester, which is literally a month. Five star reviews after day one. I have like an hour until my meeting for the day, which is like my really last thing. So I think I'm gonna try to take a nap, watch some TV chill. Like remember it's the first day of the block. So obviously today is not crazy busy, but this is just a good day to like regroup, figure out study strategies and everything like that. And oh, while I'm here, let me show you guys the notes I took in class. <laughs> pointing my eyes because it's so sunny outside but let's get into these notes basically this time of course i had to find my random google picture which was a baby because we're on the reproductive system but today we only had two like content lectures and the first one was called reproductive boot camp so as you can see we looked at like some different like cells microbiology a little bit 
um and then other than that we just have normal um, notes i just want to like also preface like med school is not anything new like you learn this stuff kind of in undergrad kind of for the mcat so like obviously these hormones and stuff if you've like done any like medical or science related things you see these hormones like remember medical school is not like making up other things it's just a lot more in depth yes we have a visitor this is my friend my lease oh look at the helicopter that's why it's so loud this is taking a long time y'all there's so much happening a helicopter just came it's literally landing right now and then my friend came out because she heard me talking into oblivion but i am going to finish these notes because i think the helicopter is almost landing i think that you can finally hear me again even though you can still hear the helicopter this is real life this is medicine no i'm dead okay but let's finish these notes but we have our reproductive boot camp obviously it's going to be the same things different hormones and things we just go a little bit more in depth in medical school so that we know how everything is situated and how it interacts with each other and then beyond that um, we also had a physiology and we're starting with the female reproductive system just because that tends to be a lot more complicated than the male reproductive systems you know a lot more hormones a lot more components and things like that that's kind of the gist of it so yeah i'm about to go take my nap and i will see you guys for our meeting time for my meeting yeah and that's like the girth of it i think even during the meeting i'll explain why i just finished my meeting and i'm actually so excited because the club event is gonna have a first year annual brunch that i'm putting on so i just sent everybody like cute little paperless invites and i'm so excited for that but it's six o'clock and i need to study for my physical exam because i'm going to the hospital tomorrow so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to get dressed go run a little bit work out a little bit come back practice my physical exam skills and then call it quits so i'm probably gonna be lazy but the goal is to start running by 6 30 because i like to jog around and then we're just gonna like go from there so i'll see you guys on this run that hopefully actually happens two miles super quick run i'm so sorry i'm back from my run it is 8 30 and i have the clock to prove that it's been that long um but honestly my roommate has some people over so i just was kind of procrastinating and chatting for the last hour and a half probably but you know when we're back um i did my little run and so i have my little purple book open and this purple book has everything in it that you could ever need in life no i'm joking but i was just going to review my physical exams because in literally a week we're going to take the oski which is just kind of like a physical exam test and we'll be doing well we actually don't know what we're going to be assigned it's like we get a case and we have to do the appropriate physical exam and so out of the options because these are the only ones we know we could either be doing cardiac pulmonary ear nose mouth neck that's one um abdominal oh yeah those are the only four that we do know so one of those so i'm just gonna like review these in my little purple book um but honestly that's about it for the night this will probably take me maximum 10 minutes that's kind of the gist of the night i just wanted to give like a miniature psa because i went out to run and i just like to at least one to, for at least like 10 minutes a day go outside and do something not related to school because obviously i have to walk to class and stuff like that however i like to spend at least a little bit of time going outside like not necessarily doing something school related like walking to class so like whether it's running there's a park nearby like walking around the park i think that's very important especially because with covid there was so much quarantine and a lot of people just in the house in a way i just think that like i got kind of got into those habits of like being inside and like being okay with being inside and so i'm really trying to make a concerted effort to kind of like go outside i just want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video i literally was like i know people can't hear me ah! it's me it's so loud